Hey friend friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I want to do a makeup look kind of like inspired by like a Gucci monogram moment. Now I've seen this, you know, like these type of makeup looks done before. I've never done it, so this will be my first time. So I thought what better way to do your first time, you know, by doing a Gucci monogram moment on your face and not record it. So we'll see how this goes, but without further ado, let's get into it. Now, there's two reasons actually why I want to do this. One, because like obviously I love the Gucci and everything, but two, because um, I was told that I hide behind my materialistic ideals. And so I just wanna show you guys that I'm actually made out of these labels. No, I'm just joking, that's actually no reason. I honestly just really wanted to recreate this look and I thought it would be really, really cute. Um, I actually got some inspo from James Charles' Instant Influencer. I thought this would be a really, really cute moment to recreate it. So first off, I wanna start with, you know, just a little bit of concealer. So I went ahead and just did my base off camera real quickly. I haven't put on mascara because I'm gonna wait for the very end to do that. So again, like I said, uh, what I'm gonna do for this look is going to be basically like half of my face. So I'm probably gonna start like right here and just kind of go down right here and then do the monogram, the Gucci monogram coming up from like right here. Obviously I'm gonna start from my jawline instead of starting over here just because it is gonna be a little bit more intricate to get down here. So I'm, I'm not gonna do it right here. So I'll probably like, you know, follow it up with like a medium where it ended up, you know, cracking or you know my skin tearing off or whatever. Now I'm not a special effects person. Uh, I, I rarely do stuff like this. So you're gonna have to bear with me on, you know, doing it and stuff like that. So the first color I'm gonna dip into is T in the James Charles Morphe palette. And then I'm gonna skip into the one right below it. I don't remember the name of this one. But again, like I said, I'm gonna start it from like right here, I think, and then just go down and then go over my eyelid with it, and then down again. And now I'm not trying to make, make like a super good line here. This is just like, I want it to look like somebody literally ripped like the skin off almost. But at the same time, it's not gonna look like that. It's just gonna look like, it's peeking in or like part of my face type of thing moment. So when it comes to makeup, I've never been one to really be into it. You know, I grew up in like a very conservative and traditional family. So when it came to makeup, makeup was never really something that, you know, quote unquote men used or it was frowned upon. But in recent like months and recent years too, I've been really, really getting into it. And just recently, like I have fallen in love even more with it. And it's just like one of those things that I never thought would happen. Um, but I was very, very wrong, as you can see as I paint my face. So I went ahead and like drew like the where I'm gonna do the monogram at. And this is just so I have a mapping so it's a little bit easier. I, like I said, I'm not gonna go down all the way here, but I am gonna like kind of go right there, see how it ends up being. Uh, but yeah. Now in order to do this look, I'm gonna be using the M250-0, the tiny little pencil. I think it's a pencil brush, I don't know what it is. In order to get like those fine lines. Now uh, granted, it's not gonna be perfect because I'm doing this freehand, so don't come for me. Don't give me you know any crap about it. I'm sorry, okay, I'm trying. <laughs> but again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip back into T, the shade, and I'm just gonna start, you know. Now, for those of you who do not know, Gucci is a brand that I really, really like, a luxury higher end brand. But my favorite brand is Louis Vuitton, but I've seen everybody like do like the Louis Vuitton one. And so I thought, why not try Gucci? It's something different. And like, I know like everybody's doing this trend, but I thought like, might as well just jump on it. Like I'm no beauty guru, so what can possibly happen? And I think what a lot of people also don't realize or don't know about me is that I'm actually like low-key an artist. I'm a freaking artist. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I love painting or I used to love painting. I don't really do it as much anymore just because I really don't have the time for it. But yeah, that's always been something I've always loved to do. And also like, it's just one of those like guilty pleasures that like, I don't say, well, no, it's not a guilty pleasure as much as it's something that like I love so much and I just don't want like to it to be taken away from me if that makes any sense. I just don't want it to be taken away from me and if that makes any sense. And what I be, mean by that is that I feel like in today's society, we force ourselves to be good at something in order to like, you know, portray or like to put out if that makes sense. I don't wanna say put out, but like, you know, to be the best or like stand out from the crowd. And I feel like we all need to have that like something that like oh, people don't know about us uh, in order to just keep to ourselves and like almost a, a stress reliever if that makes sense. Because for me, painting is a stress reliever and uh, a lot of people don't know about it. And that's, that's the reason why, because I use it as a stress reliever. But nevertheless, like, you know, when it comes to art and stuff like that, I do like to be play a lot of abstract and whatnot. 
but I really did want to bring like the art and the bring like the makeup artistry I guess you could say and the art into uh what I was doing today hence again the Gucci monogram but as you can see like uh I'm like putting on the Gucci it's taking a long time just because like I'm trying to get like those three little dots oh my god those three little dots are literally killing me and it, I kept on messing up as you can tell in the video where I keep on grabbing the sponge and wiping my face off that's me messing up um yes also, if you see my eyes like look away or look forward from the camera, it's because my neighbors were passing by and I was literally sitting like right out the window too. Um, so they could literally see everything I was doing and that was really fun. But you know what? It's fine. I was giving them a show. I looked great. As you can see right here. Uh, also, something I didn't mention at the beginning of the video, this is replacing my Fashion Friday videos. And again, because like, I thought I was doing a monogram on something related to fashion. But yeah, so it's not gonna replace like every single Friday that I'm gonna be doing makeup, but rather just like this Friday, just because I thought like, you know, it's something different. But also, um, I'm nervous to start school. That's just a side note. Uh, you guys are probably in the same boat for those of you who are going to school right now. But I'm honestly kind of nervous because like I have to perform so many times this year. And on top of that, everything's like virtual. Like it sucks. And then on top of that too, like our school is making us do ensembles, which uh, now they're virtual, but at first they weren't going to be virtual. Um, and they're still allowing students to move in when a lot of the staff members are testing positive for COVID. So it's just kind of like scary overall. I know that's just like a side tangent, but like I just need to express myself, you know, that, that's what this is all about. But yes, getting back to the makeup, as you can see, like, you know, uh, it took a while, like I, I keep on like, constantly saying, um, but just because of the GG and those little dots, like I said previously, those are the two things that took the longest. Um, also, I didn't really use that much makeup on the bottom too, so I think that might have like played a difference. Also, eyeshadow, which is powder, so I do think that like with the pigmentation went on, it didn't help as well. I think if I were to use eyeliner or something like that, I would probably would have come out better. All right, I just finished the monogram. That took a very fat minute. Okay, let me just tell you that real quick. Obviously, like, it's not perfect, but like, you know, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add like a little bit like more, like to deepen like the, I feel like the cracks up a little bit. I'm gonna add a little black just to get a little bit depth. Again, like I've never done this before, so don't quote me on any of this. So I add the black just to give it again that depth. I'm gonna add a little bit of red, see if I can make it look like blood. Um, if it doesn't, then let's just hope for the best. Actually, you know what? I kind of like it just like this, to be honest with you. So we're gonna end it like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes and uh, some highlight off camera. I'll be right back. All right, so I popped on those lashes. There's some wispies. I don't have the packaging, I'm so sorry, I threw them away. But there's some wispies. Um, I think they're, or like Adele or something. I don't remember the brand. Anyways, but yeah, what do you guys think? This is the final look. Um, I honestly am in love with it. And like, again, the reason why I did this is because Gucci is one of my favorite brands. Um, and it's something that's always inspired me is to, to like move forward, especially fashion has always been something that's pioneered many trends as has pioneered my trends. So yeah, but if you guys like this, please comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and again, show some love on my Instagram. There's going to be a photo of this. But yeah, if you guys like this again, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that bell icon so you know when I upload brand new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, this, it truly means so much to me that like, you know, you guys are watching. I know I say this literally in every single video, but the, the reason why is just because I feel like if I don't think my audience, then what's the point? Because you guys are the reason why I'm doing this. You guys are the, re the reason why I have even a small platform. So I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Like I said in my... Like I said a few videos back, let's try to get this uh, my channel to 100 subscribers. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and we'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Bye, y'all.